So at a rally, a woman stands up and starts talking and it gets President Trump pretty uh, emotional. So Trump says it was the most beautiful moment he has had on the campaign trail. At a rally on Tuesday, former Miss Wisconsin, uh, Melissa Young, who told Trump she is suffering from an incurable illness, emotionally thanked the billionaire developer for helping her and her young finance son financially. I wanted to thank you, Young said, as she stood up in the crowd at the campaign event in Wisconsin. Because through you and your organizations, my son, who is Mexican-American, seven years old, and just being able to stand on the stage with you in 2025 or 2005 and outpouring of love that came from the ultimately pr provided my son when he graduates high school with a full ride to college. Hi, Mr. Trump. Um, I was Miss Wisconsin USA in 2005. Okay. And... Um, I can see why. No, thank you. Um, you have been, I just want to say thank you. You saved me in so many ways. And in recent years, um, I've been struggling um, with an incurable illness and I'm on home care now. It was caused by a doctor's medical negligence. And in those dark days fighting um, right now all the tubes have been removed and i have a do not resuscitate order and i have a seven-year-old son and in those days in the hospital i received from you a handwritten letter that said to the bravest woman i know and i remember that yeah i remember that and you um such a wonderful beautiful woman i mean just an amazing woman and are you are you doing are you coming along okay um, um no sir but um that's okay because i'm here right now to thank you in person and that was my biggest dream and i wanted to thank you because through you and your organizations my son who is mexican-american seven years old through your organizations and just being able to stand on that stage with you back in 2005 the outpouring of love that came from that um, ultimately provided my son when he graduates high school with a, um, a full ride to college. And that That's was great. And, and you know what we'll do? We're going to watch him. You're going to watch him, Tanner. Tanner, watch him. And, um, We're going to be watching your boy, okay? But you're going to hopefully you. be around. You're not going to have to have anybody thank watching. You. You're going to hopefully be around. Those doctors are going to be so wrong. And my but son, we'll be helping you. So we thank you. God bless you. And just, you know, he's a Mexican-American. And you, because of your efforts, have sent him to college. And I have been writing letters to him for when I'm in heaven to tell him that what you've done for him. Now, he has a great responsibility to pay it forward, just as you have done for us. And I can't thank That's you. That's so enough. nice. Thank you, honey. Thank you. I'm sorry, I have to go down and say hello. Is that okay? Thank you. I know this rally is from, from a long time ago, but these are the things that were never posted on the news. And they're trying to keep Trump out of the White House in 2024, which to me, it seems like the media would be crazy to try to do that because these are the type of things that happen. I went to one of his rallies back in, uh, whatever, 2016, 2015, whenever he was doing the rallies. And I remember a lot of these stories were coming out. And these are the things that the president, they always knock him down and they say that he's awful person. But to me, it seems like all these stories and, and people at these rallies who come out and support him, they're supporting him because of the fact that he's not the person I think that the media is trying to portray him. But the only reason the media is portraying him is because the Democrats don't like him. They don't want him in office. They want somebody that they can pick and put in office. And I think they should let the people vote who we want into office rather than have the Democrats decide who should be in office. Uh, I personally think that Trump's going to have a hard time in 2024, but the media should allow him to run for president because he the ratings on media is just absolutely through the roof. Uh, to me, it seems like he would be huge success for media. And that's why I personally don't understand why they want to keep him down and keep him out. They should say to Democrats, sorry, we're going to try to get him in the White House because he's a media uh, sensation for us. But let's see. I, I, I think I'm from Florida. I like DeSantis. I think Robert County Jr. would be a good candidate. I think DeSantis, those two going at it in 2024 would be uh, a very good 
run for the presidency. I think Trump, Biden, they're little just, why don't they just retire and play golf the rest of their life? Uh, let some younger people, younger, uh, more, I don't know, energetic, but let some younger people get into the White House to have some fresh ideas about how we can make changes into the future. 